It's starting to get cold outside. And flaming flaming. <laughs> starting to get cold outside and you want something to eat when chicken noodle soup won't do. I'm going to try something a little new today. Stricato di manzo, which is Tuscan beef stew. Stick around. Hi guys, it's Doug from DougCooks.net. Today we're going to be doing Tuscan beef stew. Um, it's also known as Stricato di Manzo. So what we're going to do is we're going to warm up the pan. We're going to get some olive oil in here. Make it nice and hot. We're going to sear the beef. Other ingredients, we got uh, cremini mushrooms, we got celery, carrots, onion. We have some tomato sauce that you can find on my website. Some garlic, fresh sage, thyme, rosemary, and bay leaves. And of course, chuck. Okay, I've cubed this up instead of doing a uh, pot roast. Uh, this will cook more evenly. I think it'll cook quicker for you. Uh, prep time for this is about 25 minutes. Total cooking time is probably two hours. But literally when you're done putting everything together in the pan, all you gotta do is put a lid on it and let it do its thing, okay? Remember, it's low and slow. We're stewing, um, stewing uh, our beef here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we got a nice hot pan. I'm going to get this going. Now, do not crowd the pan. Think of these pieces of beef as an individual steak. So you want to brown it. You know, let it cook. Don't make love to it. Let it do its thing. And do not crowd the pan. Okay? So, we're going to let that sit for a little bit. We're going to brown it up. Come on in here and take a look. A little food porn action there. As you can see, we're starting to get some nice color on the beef. As I said, you, you know, you want to think of these as an individual steak. And this is going to give you the flavor you're looking for. And this is the base for your stufato. All right. Now let that do its thing. Okay. Now what you can do is take this out and just keep going. This is a quick assembly. Oh, look at that smoke. Okay. You're going to go onions, okay, celery, carrot, and garlic. I like lots of garlic. Some people don't. If you want to take it out, be my guest. Now what you're doing here is you're layering flavors. A bit of salt, some fresh pepper, okay, this is quick gang, you know, the hard part is going to be done later when it's starting to stew, but you got to let it, let it cook, low and slow, okay, you get those nice and softened, Throw in some mushrooms. Okay. A little bit on, more olive oil because the uh, mushrooms are going to drink up the oil. Now, while that's doing its thing here, we already have one that I did earlier. This has been this has been stewing probably about two and a half, three hours. Okay. It's smelling terrific in here. Oh, we got this. Tossed around. Okay. Next come our sage. Okay. Couple bay leaves because I love bay leaves. 
Okay. Dried thyme and fresh rosemary. And a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. Okay. And yes, Jane, I will do my dishes later. Okay, so we're going to toss this. We got a beef here that's been seared. That's just going to go right back in there. See how easy this, this is, guys? This is, this is great cooking. It's tasty and it's, and it's easy. All right, next step. Go right there. There you go. Yeah, there you go. We're going to hit it with some red wine, whatever you like. I prefer some younger wines. A little more grapey, not so dry. Whatever you like. If you're drinking it, put it in there. Okay? So, tomato sauce. You can find the recipe on my website, dougcooks.net. Okay? Add your tomato sauce. Now, this is key. These are porcini mushrooms that were dried. And now I've steeped them in chicken stock. You can put them in water, you can put them in wine, and uh, they come back to life, and the broth is fantastic. This is what really, really gives us a flavor. It's fantastic, okay? In it goes. As I said, if you don't like, if you don't like mushrooms, don't put them in, but you're missing out. Get that, get that money shot there, Patrick. Okay. As you can see, this is going to, this is going to cook down. It's going to break down. The beef is going to break down. It's going to impart its flavors into the sauce, and it's going to be delicious. So we're going to turn this down. That's it. Okay? You're going to let this stew two, two and a half, three hours. Low and slow, and it's going to be delicious. You want to serve it with a nice green salad, some crusty bread, on top of rice, whatever you like. This is fantastic for cold winter days. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I was lying. We're not done yet. I got to eat this first. This is what you want on a cold day. Oh, man. That is fantastic. If I do say so myself. See ya. Oh, Mandra. You. You and you, Mandra.